everyone, I'm Desneen back here with this week's movie review. Apart from doing films like De De Pearde and Total Damal, Ajay Devgan occasionally tries to bring onto the big screen visuals and movies unlike ones we've seen before in Bollywood films, like his 2016 film Shivai. His latest movie Tanaji the Unsung Warrior is one such movie where the CGI and VFX are on another level. The movie is another glorious story of India's past, this time paying tribute to unsung Maratha hero Tanaji. Alongside Devgan, the film also stars Kajol and Saif Ali Khan in a negative role. So let's see how impressive Tanaji's visuals really are and if they're good enough to leave an impression. Tanaji, played by Devgan, is sent on a mission to recapture land for the Marathas from the Mughals. With Maratha soldiers backing him, he begins his mission to recapture the fort that is guarded by Rajput commander Udebhan, played by Saif Ali Khan. This begins an epic battle that forms the crux of the film. The last time we saw Ajay Devgan and Saif Ali Khan come together for a movie was for the 2006 film Omkara, where interestingly we saw Saif play a negative role and steal the show from everyone. Therefore, fans have been highly anticipating this film, where once again, Again, we see these two come together after many years. As mentioned, the movie is made on a grand scale and relies heavily on CGI. Most of the scenes are one battle or song set piece after another, all enhanced by 3D. While some of the effects are well done and impressive for a Bollywood movie, others look fake and obvious. But even then, the attempt is admirable and the strides Bollywood has made in this department is applaud worthy. However, despite this, the movie has one big problematic issue. Though the story is of the Mughals' attempt at capturing and ruling, the movie blames blatantly shows them, the Muslims, as the villains and the Marathas as the pious and good heroes. To display such black and white sentiment filled with stereotypes at a time like this in India in 2020 is risky. The story still could have been told without it being looked through the lens of religion. Even the characterization of Udebhan is interesting. Always dressed in black, he resembles a lot of Alauddin Khilji from Padmavat, animalistic and relentless in his pursuits, while Tanaji is righteous and virtuous through and through. Coming to the performance, Ajay is in his element. Intense and brooding, he does a good job of bringing Tanaji to life. This movie marks 100 films for the actor, and despite the issues, it's a great attempt at bringing something visual like this to Bollywood audiences. It's been a while since we've seen Ajay and Gajol come together. They look great in the very limited scenes that she's in. She's hardly in the movie. But like Omkara, Saif here also steals the show. Though his character does resemble that of Kilji, Saif is still menacing and humorous at the same time. His facial expressions, laughter, and dialogue delivery are all effective. The background score of this movie is great, considering it's a big part of the film, especially in the second half. Tanaji is a well-made movie visually. The cinematography is excellent, showing off impressive landscape and coordinated action scenes. Most of the CGI is very well done, with the battle scenes being some of the best. But the problem with the telling of the story still stands, as it ends up being a very divisive film. We're going with a one-time watchable three stars. For some of the visuals and Saif Ali Khan's performance, Tanaji is worth at least a one-time watch in theaters.